Hello students and parents, welcome back to my channel with another science tutorial video today. In my today's video, I am going to explain you one of the most important chapter of biology that is nucleus. Nucleus is the main part of a cell. So we are discussing about the structure and function of the brain of our cells that is nucleus. So let's get started. A nucleus is the membrane enclosed organelle within a cell that contains the chromosomes. An array of holes or pores in the nuclear membrane allows for the selective passage of certain molecules such as proteins and nucleic acids into and out of the nucleus. Nucleus is called as very important cell organelle of the cell. There is porous double membrane around it. It controls all the function of the cell. Therefore, the nucleus is called as the brain of the cell. A nucleus is defined as a double membraned eukaryotic cell organelle that contains the genetic material. Nucleus contains the cell's hereditary information and controls the cell's growth and reproduction. The nucleus has been clearly explained as a membrane-bound structure that comprises the genetic material of a cell. It is not just a storage compartment of DNA but also happens to be the home of some important cellular processes. The cells in which the nucleus has no membrane is called prokaryotic cells. On the other hand, the cells which have a nucleus with membrane is called eukaryotic cells. It is the most evident organelle in the cell. The nucleus is completely bound by the membrane. The cell's chromosomes are also confined within it. DNA is present in the chromosomes and they provide the genetic information required for the creation of different cell components in addition to the reproduction of life. The nuclear structure is generally divided into two distinct compartments. First one, the nuclear envelope consisting of the inner and outer nuclear membrane, the nuclear pores and the nuclear lamina and secondly the nuclear interior comprised of chromatin. Nucleus contains the cell's hereditary information and controls the cell's growth and reproduction. The nucleus has been clearly explained as a membrane bound structure that comprises the genetic material of a cell. Nucleus is not just a storage compartment of DNA but also happens to be the home of some important cellular processes. It is possible to duplicate one's DNA in the nucleus. This process has been named DNA replication and produces an identical copy of the DNA. Producing two identical copies of the body or host is the first step in cell division where every new cell will get its own set of instruction. Nucleus is separated from the rest of the cell by a double layer, the nuclear membrane. This membrane seems to be continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum of the cell and has pores which probably permit the entrance of large molecules. An identical nucleus diagram highlights the various components. Moreover, only eukaryotes have the nucleus. Prokaryotes have the nucleoid. The nucleus controls and regulates the activities of the cell and carries the genes structures that contain the hereditary information. The gel-like matrix in which the nuclear components are suspended is the nucleoplasm. I will discuss about the genetic materials or DNA inside the nucleus in my upcoming videos. Stay tuned to my channel to get good marks in science. Bye-bye.